Welcome back to another episode of A Moment with Mr. P on Mr. P TV. Today, I want to talk about something that's very exciting, and I hope you listen to this video a few times. Um, try and make it very short as possible, but I want you to know that uh, Paul's greatest mystery that he shared with mankind is that Christ is in you as the hope of glory. Christ is in you. Now, that's very important because God, when God views you, he views you through the lens of Christ. So in God's eyes, you're no different than the firstborn son. You're one of the many sons and daughters that came forth from Christ who is now in you as a life-giving spirit. So having said that, that sort of just lets you know who you are. Now I want to let you know what you're capable of. There are three portions of the word. I'm not going to tell you where the verses are. You're going to have to look for them yourself because I'm just that way. But the first one is where Jesus said, all things are possible with God. Did you hear that? All things, all things, all things are possible with God. And you are with God. So that means that all things are possible to you. He also said that um, all things are possible to the one who believes. In other words, if you believe something that is impossible, is possible. It doesn't matter how impossible it looks. But if you look at it from God's point of view, God created everything. Nothing's impossible with God. So all things are possible through, to you and through you if you believe. If you believe why? I don't know. Whatever you want to believe. You have to believe in the invisible. You have to believe the impossible. You have to believe in what is not here yet. And I've covered that on uh, previous videos, how to believe, what faith is. And I would encourage you to go back to those. But the point is, all things are possible to the one who believes, and with God, all things are possible. Then the Bible says, uh, uh, Paul said in Ephesians, that God is able, or he is able to do super abundantly above all that you ask or think. Or he is able to do above and beyond all, all that you can ask or think. This is amazing. Do you realize that everything's possible now? It doesn't matter how impossible it looks. It's now possible because the word says so. And because you have the impossible one, the one who specializes in the impossible living in you, the one who healed the sick, who touched lepers and healed them, who spoke a word and healed them, who spoke a word and, and, and caused storms to cease, who spoke a word, Lazarus come forth, and the dead were raised. Whatever he did, he turned water, water into wine. Now you may say, oh, that's, I mean, a lot of religious people would have a problem with that. Jesus turned water into wine, not grape juice, wine. And, uh, and it was six, six huge, uh, uh, water pots full of wine. So he was, he wanted the people at the wedding feast to have a really good time. So my point is this, God wants you to have what you can imagine. He created you to be a co-creator with him, and he specializes in the impossible. Now, if it's something that you can do, let's say you need 10 bucks. I'm sure you can go find 10 bucks, but let's say you need $5,000. How are you going to get the $5,000? Let me tell you what I just said. All things are possible to the one who believes. With God, all things are possible. And he is super abundantly, and he is able to do super abundantly above all that you ask or even think. All you have to do is think about it. Think about $5,000. Get excited about $5,000. You don't know how it's gonna, gonna come. You know, when a sower sows the seed, he just throws the seed in the ground because it's a law. And the seed 
will produce. He doesn't know how. He just gets up day and night, goes about his business. He doesn't worry about it because he's confident in the law. Well, you should be confident in the law that all things are possible with God, that with God, all things are possible. And you can, and all things are possible to the one who believes and that he is super abundantly and he is able to do super abundantly above all that you ask or think. Wow, that leaves a lot of possibilities, friends. And we as the church and we as the people of God are not taking advantage of all the wonderful things that we can do with God and and God with us. So I would encourage you to start dreaming, start thinking big. If you have a, if you have a need right now, whether it's healing, whether it's finances, no matter what it is, all things are possible. Amen.